Welcome to the Channel 34 Weekly Eyewitness News Broadcast, where we bring the latest new coverage to you. Watch as our team heads out into the field and is on scene in our East Bay to bring you the most current footage and eyewitness accounts of news in our East Bay parks. Welcome to another broadcast of Weekly Newt News. Tune in as our team reports on amphibious creatures in our parks, the newts. Find out if newts have what it takes to persist during tough times. Join us as we explore adaptations so incredible they're like superpowers. This is Erica reporting on your Newt News Network. In order for the first water-dwelling creatures to adapt to life on land, many new adaptations needed to be evolved. Amphibians are a group of vertebrates that have adapted to live in both water and on land. Some of these adaptations are truly unique in that they allow newts to survive in extreme situations. Do newts really have what it takes to survive in the wilds of nature? Find out soon after this short announcement. This just in, we are getting a report of an eyewitness in a park who has just sighted a newt. Let's see what they have to say. Yeah, I saw one and it was pretty cool, but it was also pretty small. I'm wondering if it can even survive out here with all these predators and everything. I mean, they don't seem like they're all that tough of critters. I mean, it's not like they have superpowers. In fact, they do have some incredible superpower adaptations that help them to survive. Find out about all of that and more after this quick weather report. Take a look outside the studio. Windy. Let's take it over to our expert, Stacy, who will explain how newts use their superpower adaptations to their advantage. Over to you, Stacy. Thanks, Erica. Well, for being a pretty small creature, only about five inches long, Newts possess some big adaptations that help them survive and thrive. One of these adaptations in particular has a real wow factor. Imagine you're a California newt just going about your day minding your own business and a crow swoops down and grabs you for a snack. Everybody's gotta eat, right? Newts are pretty slippery, so let's say you get away, but in the process that crow bites your leg off. Well, for most other creatures, that would be a critical injury resulting in death. But if you're a California newt, not so much. Newts have the amazing ability to regenerate parts of their body. That means they can regrow that leg, their tail, even parts of their brain and internal organs. Here's what happens. Within one to two hours of that injury, a thin layer of new cells covers the wound, let's call it the control center for what happens next. Then over the next month or so, a sophisticated process of cell differentiation, patterning and growth occurs, similar to what happens with an embryo growing in the womb. New muscles, blood vessels and skin reestablish the connections lost during the injury. So there you have it. I think we can safely say that newts are small, but mighty in their adaptations. And I don't know about you, but I think that we can all learn a thing or two from newts about resiliency in a challenging situation. Back to you in the newsroom. Thanks for joining us here on Channel 34, Newt News. And stay tuned as our team reveals more newt superpower adaptations next week. This is Erica reporting for the East Bay Regional Park District, founded in 1934. Newts are cool. Do you like newts? Cause I like newts. Newts, newts.